our circumcision of carrots is for our good friends. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Daniel's Delightless. Yes, I'm oh, looking forward to it. Big team plans for it. No, never. Yeah. We're actually on a diet now at the moment, but potato prawns would be great thing to include on it now. They're full of protein actually. And we're going to make the flag of Ireland onto the king prawn dish. Absolutely. We're going to get to the chop some carrots. Yeah, we're chop the top before. You know, back whenever I was in Paper Nation, I done an ad about like this here chopping onions. I was doing this um, ad for like a cooking crowd, and then it was just all I had to do was have my hand just like a fist and just, you know, chop the onions like that, just like five grand for a couple of days. What is it? The spinach? and mayonnaise and then carrot puree, so that'll be good. Chopping was brilliant, but you say they had to be peeled. They had to be peeled, yeah. Don't hang on scrap. Look at that. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this now. Just, we'll just put all the edges out like this here. We're not good waste, but... <laughs> but you're better to do a sort of tire as opposed to get through the mud eventually. We'll be here all day. Scrape them inside the carrot side. That's right. How was that? Right, right, how, how are you doing so fast just to get here? The, the opposite way. Oh, the other, oh it's this way. Oh, this way. Oh, oh, right, right, I see it now. <laughs> There you go. There, look, look, look. That's not coming off. There, look at that. That's some carrot. Straight down the middle. No more cheeks. That was just, just the exit point. Can you give that a go? Alright, okay. I see, I see your fingers cut them back. And, and, and some of those cotton might take a bit. A bit more practice, but uh, a wee bit more advanced than that. So whenever you'd be at the, you know, like the cooking school, uh, you know, they would go through that last, you know, just for something oh, every night. I went to college down in Kitty Bags there. Mm -hmm. Year, years ago now. Mm -hmm. It was mad, it was mad. That's whenever you first come to Donegal. Yeah, I failed the first year. I went back then. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> went partying a bit too hard. But sure look, it worked out. Yeah, don't. Ah, that's <laughs> What's this here that's wobbling on it? Is it your book? That's the book there. That's... Tell us about that now. What's going on with this book? The Reign of King Rory. That's an ideal template for the new island. Ah, don't worry, there'll be more tourists, so there'll be more demand for restaurants. Good stuff. And if we just get the right people to form a provisional government, then we'll go for it then. So who are we talking about? It was on the paper I was reported, I says, where I would go for Taoiseach, where I says, look, for president, I think, Conor McGregor would be ideal for that. I'd love to form something, not like the GAA, right, that's dedicated to, like, turkey burgers. Turkey burgers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> turkey burgers and then the... Buffalo sauce and a butter rice. I don't even mind the eating butter, to be honest, but... Yeah. There's no eating the whole thing, it's all f***ing done. Got to squeeze the lemon over the prawns, sure. It'll be nicer over the carrots there. They're blanding the prawns anyway. <laughs> See, linear TV and that chance. That's dead now, anyway. But no, I'm gonna get my own podcast going. After the song comes out, a few months like. Me and you'll do another video with lamb chops. We can make them as well. F*** what? Lettuce. I'm a first class now, no question about it.